Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today showing you four different ways to view pictures as a slideshow. We're going to start with File Explorer. Very simple way to do it. You probably have it sitting right here. It looks like a folder icon. If you do not, you can go to Start, scroll all the way down to Windows System, and click on File Explorer. Now, click on your pictures, and once you click on a picture, you will see a Manage button appear here. There it is. Click on Picture Tools, click on Slideshow. Now, default's pretty quick, five seconds, but you can right click and choose Play, Pause, Next, Back, Shuffle, Loop, Slow, Medium, Fast. I believe Medium is the default, but here's what we can do. You can click with your left mouse, one click, 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 go through everything, or as mentioned, right click to change your settings. You can also exit from there, and you can press the escape key and you're out. So there's a neat way just to do it on the fly, if you will. So let's take a look at your desktop. I prefer this method. We're going to right click on our desktop and we're going to click on personalize. You will be in the background tab as you can see right here. And most of us have a picture for the background. So click that right there under the word background and change it to slideshow. Your first picture will automatically show up. Pictures is the default, but you can click browse if you'd like to go somewhere else. Change your picture how often? 1, 10, 30 minutes, every one or six hours, or every day. Pretty cool. Choose a fit. Now, this is a tough one. I almost always go with stretch. Uh, nowadays, people have images that are big or even bigger than their desktop. So it's not the problem it used to be. We had little tiny 640 by 480 pictures, but our desktop was double the size, in which case we'd have to do stretch or fit or fill. And they never quite looked right, but you shouldn't have that problem unless you're loading really old stuff. But you can play around with it and see what different settings do for you and what works for you. So I like stretch. You could choose a background color. And that's pretty much it. So it's not designed to be, you know, let's run pictures nonstop. It's just designed to sit there and show you a new picture whenever you want. So there is step number two. Now three and four are very similar depending on your photo program. If you, whether you have Windows Photo app, and a lot of people want to do Windows Photo Viewer. And we'll come to that in a minute. Let's take a look at the Photos app, which was kind of crashing on me today. Let's see if she'll work for the first time out. Once your Photos app comes up, click on the three dots right here, and you will see Slideshow. And as you can see, that's pretty much it. If I right click, it closes. If I left click, it closes. If I escape, it closes. So it's almost got less options, obviously, than File Explorer. I checked the settings. There's nothing in here either. Finally, a lot of people don't prefer the Photos app, so a lot of people have come to Major Geeks, and they've restored the Windows Photo Viewer, which they prefer. And the nice thing about this is we also have a video on it. There's a registry file, and I should add a link to it. It's in the Major Geeks registry tweaks as well allowing you to just right click on a batch file and get the job done. So there you have it. If you'd like, you can just copy and paste this code, save it as a text file and restore to Windows Photo Viewer. Otherwise, I'm not going to go too much with it, except once you have the Windows Photo Viewer installed, it looks like Windows Media Player. If you remember, you just click right there to play forward, backwards, and really that's about it. So it's just as simplistic as the photo app. There you go. So, all right, guys. As always, lower right corner, Major Geeks little icon. You click on that. You click subscribe. Check the video description for a link to, do, 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 to get to this tutorial. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, see you.